Super Rugby Jersey Rankings. Uh, some of you guys have been asking for this one for a while. I've done the Jersey Rankings for a couple of years. And I learned after doing it the first year that it's best to wait to see some of the jerseys actually in action before you do the Jersey Rankings because often the promo picture and the real product don't look the same. So I've done that and we're not going to get any chances to see these jerseys for a while. So I figure let's do the Jersey Rankings now. Uh, and you guys can let me know your thoughts. I will also at the end go over the jerseys by price. So you can see kind of where you're getting your most expensive and your cheapest jerseys uh, from. But yeah, quick disclaimer, I'm not a designer. I don't have any particular great insights on what a good jersey should look like. It's just totally my personal opinion. You'll have yours with 15 picks. Our picks are definitely going to be different. Uh, nobody's right, nobody's wrong. But it is a bit of fun hopefully starting at the bottom 15th i've gone with the bulls and i'll see if i can put that jersey up there they've gone with a mix of dark and light blue with little bull head um, prints on it it's it's a pattern i don't know whether they were trying to hypnotize the opposition into submission but it ain't pretty at least in my humble opinion. So the Puma or Puma have had uh, had the Bulls jerseys for, is it a couple of seasons now? And I don't think they've quite yet produced one that's been really top notch. It's all been uh, a bit of a mixed bag. So um, yeah, I don't particularly rate that kit. From memory, it looks better from the back than from the front. But yeah, they've, they've had some interesting jerseys in the last few years. And um, yeah, this one is definitely not one of my preferred ones. I will see if I can get one of those old pink Bulls jerseys at some point. Because uh, the Bulls, to their credit, they don't just keep things the same every year. So they do change things up. Some of the teams pretty much give you the same jersey every year, which in its own right is kind of a bit dull. So... I can be critical of them for taking a risk and failing or keeping the jerseys the same. But either way, uh, I'm not a particularly big fan of that one. The next one is the Lions jersey. So I'm two from two for South Africa, both from the Hauteng. Um Yeah, man, the Lions, I think my favorite jersey in recent history from the Lions is like 2017, where it was red and it was kind of a bright red that felt kind of fiery passionate and now they've been getting progressively whiter they went with the red and white hoops it's been getting more and more white on the jerseys the back i think is kind of red they got two different tones you got black sleeve red sleeve they got the jersey manufacturer logo kind of down by the belly button or a bit lower so i'm a bit perplexed by that jersey i want the lions red that's just me uh that jersey doesn't really do it for me if there's something written on that pattern, I do not know what it says. Someone will tell me if you own the jersey. Let us know what that says. I couldn't quite zoom in to read it enough. But um, yeah, not a huge fan of that uh, Lions jersey. The next one, I used to rank this jersey really highly. But the Highlanders new one, I don't know, man. It's it's kind of same-ish from the old one. But without some of the cool patterns that the old one used to have. So it does have patterns on there. I don't know. It just seems a bit kind of bland. It's a change without changing it necessarily in the right direction. Like the other one, I really preferred all the patterns that were on the jersey. And this one, yeah, man, I don't have that much to say about it. It's a bit meh. Just not that fussed by the Highlanders one this year. I thought the old one, which I own, was pretty slick. Next. Uh, I've gone with the Waratahs jersey. And the Waratahs jersey is the one that don't ever really change that much. It's light blue on pretty much the whole jersey. The sponsor stuff on the on the Waratahs one is a bit interfering. Like not so much the Daikin, which I'm kind of getting used to, but on the back, uh, they've got a few bits of sponsorship stuff going on. It's X Blades, which is a change from Canterbury uh, last year. It's got the collar thing going on, but it's not. It's not particularly great. Maybe it's because they're having a bad season and I'm also not impressed by that. But either way, uh, I don't find that jersey like a significant improvement over uh, the previous one. Uh, next. Now, the Sharks, this is a bit of an abnormal one here because as far as I can tell, 
their Marvel jersey is their home jersey. They haven't produced a proper Sharks jersey this year. They got the away one, which looks all right, white. But the home one is the uh, Black Panther one. I just don't dig the Marvel jerseys that much. I know some people like them, and I do like the initiative to kind of get more kids into the game because I think rugby is a game generally. Uh, the, the viewership is kind of aging. Like There's fewer young people into rugby than there used to be, so I do like that. I do like that it increases the sales and whatnot, but it's just me as a grumpy old man. I want a slick black Sharks kit, not the Marvel kit. The Sharks traditionally have some of the best jerseys in the game, but I'm just not that fussed on Marvel, man. I got kind of over it. Uh, next, I've gone with the Rebels. And to be fair, the Rebels have taken a bit of a risk. They've gone with hoops. Now, in the promo shot, the hoops are pretty distinguishable. In the real kit, when you see it on the field, that blue is really dark. So at a glance or at a distance, you wouldn't notice that it wasn't kind of all uh quite dark blue it does look more dark blue than black but the hoops in this picture are pretty uh pretty obvious i don't mind it it's a bit of a shift uh, i don't think it's bad i don't think it's particularly flash it's all right it's okay um but yeah it's i guess if nothing else nice to see them uh make a little bit of a change People who don't really make a whole bunch of change is the Brumbies. Their kit looks pretty much the same every year. Uh, if that's different from the old season one, it's not much different at all. It would be in single digit percentages of, of change. It's the Brumbies kit. It's fine. It's serviceable. Same sponsor, same manufacturer. O'Neill's make a nice jersey, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing much to say about the Brumbies one. It's the same Brumbies kit for all intents and purposes as last year. So um, apparently it's a bit different. But there you go. Uh, now this one, I'll have to put both images up because this is the image which appears in the shop, which is not, I don't think, very pretty, especially because it's missing a logo. The second image from the shop, I guess once they got their second lot of um, orders done, is the Crusaders one with the sponsor and the, the logo. I actually prefer the one with the sponsor. I feel like it fills up some kind of empty space there. And um, yeah, the logo, for better or worse, at least adds something to look at rather than just the word Crusaders. So I still prefer the old logo. Um, again, scrumpy old man, don't like change. But new logo at least looks better than the one without the logo. Uh, I do kind of dig the pattern. It's all right. But um, yeah, it's not bad. But the one you can buy in the shop, at least the original one, probably detracts a little bit. Next, and I can't remember where I had this one last year. Maybe a similar spot, the Sunwolves kit. It's kind of dynamic. It's the same kit as last year. They're in their last year, so they're not going to go and make a new kit. I couldn't find this kit online to buy. It seems like it's out of stock. They have the previous ones, but not this one, as far as I could find, at least on their official store. Um, yeah, it's a pretty striking red. I do like that. It's like, this is what the Lions kit should look like in terms of color, I think. But big sponsor thing doesn't particularly get in the way for me. It's got a big... W for the wolf, um, yeah, it may not look good in 10 years, but I still think it looks pretty sharp, even if it's no change from last year. Uh, next one, the Canes. I think they're swishy swishy, which they tend to have done in recent years. I think the swishy swishy looks a bit better than previous years, kind of swishy swishy. So yeah, the, the fact that the, the main sponsor blends in with the jersey, I do appreciate that as well. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb like some other sponsors. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an improvement, I think, on the previous jersey. Uh, the previous jersey, though, looks better in person than the promo shots. But um, yeah, man, it's a, it's a pretty sweet jersey. I get it. You're a hurricane. You got some swish. Looks sharp. I like it. Uh, next, and I usually mark these guys down horrendously for their, their obtrusive logo. I got the jersey hanging there. Uh, it's the Blues jersey for, for this year. It's a drastic change from what we previously had. I do like the color scheme. I think that's kind of what Auckland, or at least Blues jersey, should look like. They've previously gone with quite a lot lighter blue. That's the color. That's kind of the Blues. It's a, it's a blue. It's not real dark, and it's not real light. It's kind of just blue sky blue no darker than sky blue um but yeah it's it's nice the the sponsors logo is horrible 
and I feel like in 10 jerseys, this jersey's going to date terribly. But for now, I think it looks pretty slick. I think some people are going to hate that jersey, though, because it looks kind of like broken glass. Uh, but they did something a bit different. The color scheme I like, it works for me. Next, almost top three, the Reds. Now, the Reds jerseys always look pretty slick. And in recent times, they switched from red back to the maroon. And I kind of didn't like the change again grumpy old man don't like change don't do any change but I'm, I'm getting used to the change now i'm buying into brad thorn uh his deal with the um with the reds and yeah man it looks slick it looks high quality it better because you wait till you see the price um the maroon is doing it for me previously i preferred the red but now i think if i was going to get one to get the maroon so um yeah man nice nice looking jersey uh, next and it's the one i'm wearing i do like the stormers jersey man they they kept a pretty nice color scheme they did something different with the hoops to kind of make them diagonal uh again in 10 years probably looks pretty bad but for now i think it looks pretty sharp they've made a change i'm all in favor of that change i think it's a change for the good and uh yeah i'm pretty happy i own this jersey man because it's nice it's not the marvel one it's not the away one they've got three but it's a nice slick stormers jersey the color scheme works for the stormers they've done the hoops but a bit of a variation big fan big fan of that jersey uh next and these guys always do nice jerseys man and i bet you the fabric feels like a million bucks because i've got one hawaii's jersey and it is the nicest feeling jersey i own Nike also. I mean, I've got a Saracens one as well, which is also Nike and also feels like a million bucks. So Nike. I wish more uh, rugby teams had them as a manufacturer, but that jersey is just slick. I want it. I want to buy it. I'm, I'm going to buy that jersey at some point. That's a nice, nice jersey, man. It's just great colors. I'm not sure what the deal is with the patterns, but I'm digging it. And... Um, yeah, the logos all fit well. It fits with the theme of the Hawares, and that is a very, very nice jersey. However, it wasn't enough to be number one. Just look at that Chiefs jersey, man. Now, I was kind of critical of them for going like, not the previous jersey, but the one prior to that was quite a lot brighter in terms of the colors that it had like it seems like chiefs jerseys have been going kind of grayer and gray or in this case maybe a bit blacker and i was like man where's your colors because the chiefs are traditionally you know the got the red and the the yellow in there and they've been going more more dark and not no real colors but this jersey i think gets it just right the cool like moldy um patterns on there art i guess you could say it is man um that jersey just looks i want to swear but uh it looks really good really 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 good i think it is the best jersey uh i would have said the hawaras one when i first saw it released but that chiefs one looks very very slick the the sponsors logo works with that works with the logo color scheme the patterns just looks great man I really, really, really like it. So, um, yeah, those are the jerseys and my rankings. Let me know your thoughts in terms of which teams are your favorites or which ones you can't stand. Prices. Um, these aren't, well, I've, I've converted all these prices to American dollars because I feel like everyone knows what American dollars kind of feels like. But with the economy, the with the COVID thing, uh, the dollars values are changing drastically. But... When I looked the other day, the Sharks jersey was on, I think it was on discount. Uh, it was the cheapest at 651 Rand, which makes it like 39 US dollars. The Bulls was 749 Rand, so not on discount, but 45 US dollars. Storm was 799 and the, the Lions 799.95. That's Rand, uh, so approximately 48 US bucks. So the South African jerseys are all... I guess in the scheme of things, the cheapest, but I know in terms of like how, what average salaries are like, I would imagine that's still a fair chunk of change. Uh, the Rebels one was 129.99 Aussie, which would have been 79 US dollars, but it's on discount. It's now 99 Australian dollars, so it's 60 US dollars. So it is the cheapest of the non-South African teams. Uh, the Brumbies one is also 99 Aussie dollars, so that brings it to 60 US. 
Uh, the Sunwolves one, like I said, I couldn't find the current season one, which is also the previous season one for sale. I guess they stopped making them with the team on the out, but you can still buy the previous season one, which is for 8,085 yen, which is like uh, 75 US dollars. Hawares, uh, 400, oh, sorry, 4,790 Argentinian pesos. Uh, so 76 US dollars. Again, I'm not sure what that's like in terms of like average, average wages in Argentina. Uh, all the New Zealand jerseys, because they're all made by Adidas, which is how we pronounce that in New Zealand, uh, $149.99, unless you're finding it somewhere on discount, which is like 90 US dollars. 150 bucks for a jersey, it's expensive. I can tell you in New Zealand, that's an expensive jersey. I bought it for like a hundred when it was on a like some sale. So um, yeah, Waratah's jersey is 160 Aussie dollars, and likewise the Reds. So they are the first equal. Uh, so 97 US dollars for those jerseys. So um, yeah, that's the list. You guys, let me know your thoughts on which jersey you think looks the best, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.